morning everyone. I hope you can all hear me this week. We did have some problems last week with my microphone but I can see the volume going up and down on my computer so I'm hoping this is working. Um, I've also got this running on my mobile as well so hopefully this week our notices will go without a glitch but I don't want to speak too soon really. <laughs> so good to see you all uh, today. Hope uh, you've had an alright week. Um, we're still here in lockdown land. Um, it's not the easiest place to be, is it, at the moment? And the weather's a bit grotty today as well. So, uh, but anyway, I hope um, today's service is uplifting for you. Um, and we'll just go through a few notices this morning. First thing I wanted to say was a massive thank you to everyone that helped with the Ascension Day service. Um, this is now on uh, the um, our new YouTube channel. If anyone missed the Ascension Day service, you can catch up with it there. Um, just checking that people can hear me. People are watching. Hello, everyone. Um, so um, we did have a little bit of a technical issue on Thursday with our Ascension Day service. Um, it went fine for me, but my husband was kicked out of the video halfway through and a few other people had problems watching it. And I got to the bottom of it. Um, the issue was that Sarah played her flute so professionally and beautifully that YouTube, not YouTube, Facebook thought that we'd stolen some copyrighted music from Sony. And so they, they just canceled the video, but not for everyone, which was a bit confusing. Um, so it was to do with the music that we played um, in the service. Now I've challenged that, um, the copyright claim, because obviously Sarah was playing her flute at home and, and had willingly offered that and the, the hymn is out of copyright. So um, I have challenged the claim, but what I did um, to sort of try and solve the problem was I've also uploaded that whole service um, onto YouTube now because I think it might have been taken down from Facebook. So if anyone does want to watch the Ascension Day service, it is on our YouTube channel. Uh, but massive thank you to Sarah and Tom who just played their instruments so well. I understand it was Tom's first time um, playing the organ sort of publicly, so to speak. So well done, Tom. It was brilliant. Um, and I hope this is a really nice way uh, for you to, to learn uh, how to lead worship. So that was brilliant. So thank you. And thank you to those of you who did readings as well. We might well try and do a service again like that with different voices live um, in the future. So well done everyone on that front. So you'll find sometimes we do get technical problems. Um, of course now with everyone in lockdown um, some of these online tools are feeling the strain um, and so sometimes they go a bit wrong. Um, but we just keep persevering. Um, but nine times out of ten, it's a technical glitch and not you that's the problem. So don't kind of think that you're stupid or something because it's often the computer systems that are failing us rather than the other way around. <laughs> OK, um, I'm going to be taking um, a bit of time off with Paul this week, um, just from Monday to Friday. Uh, we're just trying to have a week's holiday, um, obviously staycation at home, um, but just time away from the computer, time away from, from dealing with uh, the pressures of parish life. Um, now, I am still contactable because, of course, I'm still at home. So if there's an emergency, do do ring through. Um, but if it can wait, um, if it's something you need to get off your chest, then send me an email and I'll, I'll look at it next week. Um, otherwise, um, yes, we're just having a bit of a break this week. So hope you understand that. Um, we need to have a bit of a holiday, even though we can't go away. Um, Lovely. Right, some other notices. Oh, I've just seen uh, Jenny saying how how beautifully Sarah and Tom played. Yes, they are fantastic. We're lucky to have them. Yeah, it's brilliant. Great. Right, now, uh, next notice. Um, this is one of the notices that I gave last week where none of you could hear me. So I, you could just see me speaking and no sound was coming out. So I thought I'd give the notice again. I've set up... Um, a YouTube channel for our parishes which will be the one-stop shop for all of our services on YouTube. Up until recently we've been using my personal YouTube channel um, for um, our services but 
I think, well, we'll be in this situation for quite a bit longer. So I thought it made sense to create an, a proper YouTube channel for our churches. Um, so you can visit it on YouTube. If you type into the search bar in YouTube, Bulbra and Clown, it'll come up because there aren't any other channels called Bulbra and Clown. Um, and then you can click on it and you'll see um, there's just a screenshot above me here and you'll see that there's a red button that says subscribe. If you if you are logged into YouTube and you click on subscribe, then you'll get a little update every time a new video goes up. So that's quite helpful. So all of our stuff's gonna go on there now and I'm even going to start putting these notices on YouTube as well so that people that don't use Facebook can also access these notices. So do have a little browse of the channel, um, have a look at the videos that are on there and you'll see today's service is, is up there already. Um, so that's probably, some of you will go to the church website to find the service, but another way to, to find the Sunday service is just to go direct to YouTube each week. And the good thing about being on YouTube, of course, is that if you've got a smart TV, you can watch YouTube through your TV. Um, so um, you'll be able to watch the church service on your TV as well. There are a couple of videos on the channel that just explain how to use YouTube if you're a little bit unfamiliar with it. So do have a little look at those there. Speaking of technical glitches, um, we did have some problems with Zoom last week. Now, it, I found out that actually it wasn't just us. What had happened was that Zoom is an American company and they were running some um, sort of tests on the system overnight in America. And of course, overnight in America is the morning over here in the UK. And all the churches were having their church services and coffee mornings at the same time. And the church managed to break the internet. So <laughs> that was quite an achievement. So that's why we had so many problems last week with our Zoom meeting. And I know how frustrating it is when you try and get in and it, it was really fiddly. But I'm hoping today it will work. I have had some Zoom meetings since last Sunday and they've worked fine. So um, please do um, call through today. Um, to find the link, uh, go to the church website bcjj.org.uk forward slash Zoom and you'll find the link to get into the meeting there. And it's the same link we've been using for the last few weeks, so it should work. Um, so click on that to join the meeting and hopefully some of you can join me for a coffee and to say hello so we can all see each other's faces and just see how each other's getting on. Um, so do join in with that at 11 o'clock today if you can. And now I'm going to be sounding a bit like a broken record but this notice will go up every week um, because obviously while we're not meeting physically um, it is having a financial impact on our churches. Um, and I just hope that those of you that have been benefiting from the online services and joining in with all of the different things that we're doing might feel that you might want to give some money to church. Um, and the best way to do this is to set up a regular payment um, via the parish giving scheme. And you can ring this phone number that's on the screen here um, and you'll need the parish ID which you'll find on our church website um, for parish giving scheme. Um, and if you give them a ring, you can set up that system. I understand that they are um, a bit swamped with calls at the moment because obviously all the churches want to get involved with this, but please do persevere so that, um, so that we can ensure our regular income keeps coming in um, because it is quite an uncertain time for everybody. And I want there to be a church to go back to um, at the end of all of this. So please be generous. Um, thank you. Um, the last thing to say is that this is what we call Ascension Tide, the period of time between Ascension Day and Pentecost Sunday, which is next Sunday. Um, and it's a time, a traditionally a time of prayer and waiting for the Holy Spirit. And we're joining in with the global movement, Thy Kingdom Come, by posting each day, there will be a new video on the church website from um, a group called Transcendence who have created a series of fantastic video reflections on the stations of the Holy Spirit. And I was lucky enough to be invited to be a part of this 
um, project. So if you look on Tuesday, the video on Tuesday does feature me um, doing a reflection on the baptism of Christ. But there's a different reflection each day. They're, they're about 15 minute long videos and they have um, some amazing visuals, um, also beautiful music. Some of the music has been specially composed for um, these videos. Um, some of it is from um, different choirs from around the country, cathedrals and other places as well. There's a mixture of modern music and classical music. So the music is fabulous. Um, and there's a, there's a reflection from a different person each day. Um, so I'm doing the one on Tuesday, um, but instead of having our daily prayer podcast, I've been putting up these videos as an alternative to that. So there's no prayer podcast this week, but what you will see is each day a new one of these videos will go up um, on the church website. You can also follow the Stations of the Spirit channel on YouTube if you'd rather just look at them on there. Um, but they're really great. I would really recommend watching them. Um, they're very creative and they're quite moving and powerful. A um, really good way to kind of engage with God at the moment while we're sort of stuck at home. So do involve yourself in those those daily reflections. Um, and just to say, of course, next Sunday is Pentecost Sunday. And since I arrived in the parish, I've always been encouraging everybody on Pentecost Sunday to come to church wearing red, orange or yellow. And we've done that for the last couple of years and it's been great fun. So I would recommend, I know we can't see each other, um, but it is quite fun to dress up a little bit when you can't go out anyway. So do dig out something red, yellow um, or orange to wear uh, as you watch our service next Sunday so that we can feel that we're all joining in together with churches all around the world of course celebrating the gift of the Holy Spirit so hopefully you can join in with that I shall certainly be wearing something red I've got quite a lot of red things um, it's my, it's my favourite colour so uh, I like red <laughs> that's great I think that's all our notices for today so thank you to all of you for persevering with the technology and for, for trying new things um, and keeping going. Um, you're all fantastic and thank you for the way that you're all caring for one another, looking out for one another, uh, ringing round people. So keep doing that um, and let's wait on God and trust that he is with us through this difficult time. So if you'd like to head over now to either our YouTube channel or you might want to go to our church website to watch our Sunday service. Thanks a lot guys, see you soon, bye!